Hey everybody, welcome back to the Fox Top Barbecue where we do all of our cooking and grilling and making of food stuffs right down here in the Fox Shop. And if you don't know what the Fox Shop is, this is the Fox Shop. Needs a little cleaning up right now. We got, uh, got Abby girl, Jesse girl, and uh, good old Bud, he's, he's back here on the chair. It's his nap time. Middle of the afternoon right now, it is about, uh, it's going on three o'clock. But uh, the Fox Shop, if you don't know what that is, that's my other YouTube channel, which is primarily a automotive channel where we do things like this 1994 Ford F-150 that I redid uh, a while back. I got a 93 Bronco in the other shop that's ready to be painted. But with all this uh, virus stuff going on, kind of putting that on hold right now. And along with the weather, it, it may not get put on hold too long, but... Uh, just kind of putting everything on hold right now as far as funneling money into any projects on that channel. But if you think you might be interested in that kind of content, there will be a link down below in the description. You can go check it out if you like what you see. Hit that subscribe button and uh, we'll catch you over there. Today though, what we have going on here on the Fox Shop Barbecue, we're not really barbecuing or smoking anything. We are going to be doing, uh, pretty simple, gonna be doing some fried chicken. So uh, let me get that all set up down here and I'll bring you back in. Well, first things first, before I get going here, what do you think, Ebbs? Need to, uh, I need to get the deep fryer plugged in. We're not smoking anything today. We're just gonna be deep frying. Pretty darn simple, but pretty darn tasty as well. I did this a couple nights ago and I'm wanting to do it again. So ran out of my, uh, nitro gloves that I usually use when I'm handling chicken or any kind of raw meat. These are actually uh, these are actually surgical gloves. Wife used to work for the state of Iowa doing autopsies and I guess these these went uh, these expired or something. Got a whole box of them but uh, they'll do the trick until I get more of the gloves I usually use. But we need to get the fryer plugged in And we're gonna set this at 350 degrees. Love this thing, it's a Butterball electric turkey fryer actually. And I will link that down below in the description if you're interested. It, uh, it works pretty darn well, but let's get that warmed up and I'll get things set up and I'll bring you back in here in just a minute. So like I was saying, I am here by myself for the next couple of weeks and uh, may have been exposed to the coronavirus. Wife may have too, but probably more likely me. Although, I don't know. Yesterday, I felt like crap. I had, uh, I woke up yesterday and really, really tired, really bad headache. And I did nothing but sit in the house, watch TV all day, which I don't usually do. That's what I did. I fell asleep two or three times about uh, three or four o'clock. My feet got really, really hot, which for me, that's an indication I have a fever. Took my temperature, it was 99.2, and my normal is about uh, about 97.6, 97.8, something like that. I got flies, we got flies already. But I uh, woke up this morning, felt pretty darn good, and I'm gonna make, uh, I'm gonna make me some fried chicken here. So I've got a bowl full of uh, flour, I'm gonna add some salt, good amount of salt, and some black pepper, and that's all I'm going to put into this. If I can figure out how to open it. Just going to sprinkle a little black pepper in there. And then mix it all up with a fork. We're just going to stir this all up real good. Get it all mixed up in there. That's all. You could put other things in here if you wanted to. Some cayenne pepper if you want it a little bit hotter or other, uh, other spices, whatever, whatever, you, whatever you like to put on your fried chicken, but for, for me right now, just flour, salt, and pepper. Just waiting on the, uh, the fryer to get heated up, which we are up to about to uh, about 300 degrees right now, so not too much farther to go. And then I'll get the, uh, get the chicken legs out and we're gonna make some fried chicken. So I've got uh, the salt and pepper all mixed up in here. And the good thing about making it down here in the shop where I do all of my cooking is you can make a mess and it really doesn't matter. 
just uh, <clears throat> just uh, blew that off there. Not a big deal. So anyway, just waiting for this to get up to temp. Right now we're at about uh, 325, so not much farther to go, and we're gonna be making some good eats here. So when I found out, I, was, I have my surgical gloves on now, but when I found out that my wife and daughter couldn't come home for a couple of weeks, I did go to the grocery store and I picked up, I picked up 10 pounds of chicken legs, which usually five pounds will feed me, my wife, and my daughter um, when, I, when I smoke them out there on the smoker. So I've got several meals here for myself, just in chicken legs. And uh, I'm gonna fry, fry some of these up and I may be doing a couple more things as far as, far as uh, chicken legs go in a couple upcoming videos, because I've got plenty of them. But uh, all we're gonna do now is I'm probably gonna do about um, maybe six of these guys and just take them out of here, put them in the flour, we get them covered up really good, the flour and the salt and the pepper, let them sit in there for a minute, push them down into it, get them covered really good. There's one, and I'll grab another one out of here and do the same thing. The oil is just about up to temperature, and you, you could fry it you know, in a skillet or whatever, but sometimes in a skillet you get uh, you get one side that might get a little little overcooked or whatever. I did these the other night in this deep fryer, and holy cow, they're good. So I'm doing it again just because it's the middle of the afternoon, everybody's staying home, and uh, I got nothing else to do. So I'm hungry. I haven't eaten lunch yet, and uh, I'm gonna make me up some uh, make me up some chicken legs. Who doesn't like fried chicken? All right, so I've got three of these guys ready to go. As soon as my oil's up to temp, we're gonna put these in the in the basket anyway, and then cover about three more, and we'll dunk them down into the hot oil, and we'll have fried chicken. I'm gonna take about 10 to 13 minutes, something like that. Okay, so we're up to temp here on uh, on the fryer. I got I got this hand is covered in stuff, so I gotta be careful what I touch here, but. Uh, open the lid on that guy and where's my little pick that I use yeah where did it go use that little pick thing to uh, oh, there it is pick the basket up out of here we'll get it up out of here load it right there and we're gonna start putting these bad boys into that basket So we got all six chicken legs in there and we are going to lower this down into the oil. 350 degrees, probably going to take about 10 to 13 minutes. So we'll let her go and I'll, I'll bring you back in here momentarily. Now we are maybe about three fourths of the way through the cook on this and what I like to do when I do this. I like to bounce that basket around a little bit, get them stirred up, move them around a little bit. They're starting to look good though. Probably another five minutes and uh, we'll be done. Now when I pull them out, I am gonna probe one with this, uh, this thermometer here and I will link this down below as well. You can hook four probes up to this thing. It needs to be up to uh, 165. If it goes up higher than that, that's not a problem. 175, 180, 190. Not a big deal on, on uh, chicken legs or wings or something like that. I need to do wings like this. I think that'd be really good. Stir these bad boys up again just a little bit. We're getting there. We're getting there. All right, guys, I think we're about done here. 
I'm going to pick this basket up out of here. Let's see. Find one that's a, a big one here. Maybe this guy right here. I'm going to probe him and see what we're up to on temperature. We'll stick the probe in him. Try not to hit the bone. And we'll see what we're up to here. 127, 156, 165, 169. We're done. 171, 172. All right, these guys are done. And I will link this thermometer down below in the description as well if you're interested. It doesn't cost a whole lot. I love that thing. But uh, time to pull the rest of these guys off of here. I'm going to let them cool off a little bit. And then we're going to give them a little try. Mm-mm. Doesn't that look good? Like I said, I'm going to let these cool off just for a couple of minutes and we're going to give one a try here. I'm hungry. Alright guys, they've been sitting here a few minutes. I think they're still plenty hot, but I want to try one. I want to try this guy right here. I got to put a little bit of salt, a little bit of salt on him here. We'll give her a try. Damn, that's good. Got a little juice splattered up on my face here, but uh, <laughs> that's real good. Juicy, breading is just right. I mean, it's not too heavy, not too thin. If you wanted to add more spice to it, you definitely could, and I may do that in, uh, in an upcoming video, but this is good, good eats right here. So. Anyway guys, thanks for uh, watching the channel. I hope you're all staying healthy. Like I said, I can't see my wife or daughter for the next two weeks. Not the, uh, probably not the healthiest food in the world, but uh, gotta bring some happiness into your life a little bit every once in a while. So, give this video a big old thumbs up. Comments go down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that little notification bell. That way you always know when I upload a video. Check out my other channel, which will be linked down below. The Fox Shop, if you're interested in that kind of content as well. And we'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.